This video is sponsored by me and my brake master cylinder brace. So what does this plate do? This plate helps reduce firewall flex under hard braking. We all know that third gens have flimsy firewalls. This plate helps alleviate that. The brace goes in between the firewall and the pedal box. And I'll be using some older footage for this video. First, we need to unbolt the brake master and wiggle it out of the way. Loosen the two steering column nuts underneath the dash. Remove the four lock nuts that hold the brake booster to the firewall. I didn't show removing the last two lock nuts because it's simply too hard to fit a camera in such a small place. I did use a few random sockets and adapters to reach the nuts. They aren't particularly easy to get to. Remove the brake booster clip and rod from the pedal. Then loosen the top bolt on the pedal box. The booster studs only need to be backed out of the firewall and not completely removed. The reinforcement plate sandwiches between the firewall and the pedal box. These shots are with a different bolt than the OEM brake booster, but it's overall the same process. Once the plate is lined up, the pedal box can be bolted back in. It gets bolted in with one bolt and four lock nuts. And this is what a OEM booster setup should look like for more clarification. My car isn't stock anymore, so it's hard to get shots of what it would like if it was stock. Tighten the brake master cylinder back up. and then tighten the two steering column nuts. As you can see on my manual brake car, the reduction of firewall flex is quite a bit. Overall, the reduction is about 50%. If you're interested in buying one, there's a few options. The first option is to send $30 to my PayPal that's listed in the subtitles below, or you can buy one off my eBay listing. Either method has buyer protection and the plates are also made in the USA. I hope you liked this video. If you like this content, please consider supporting me on Patreon, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram.